teacher's education started in 1994, but the academy actually opened in 2004. And the thing that has touched me the most, and I have to speak personally about this, is the lives that I have seen changed. What's particularly interesting is this is not about making future stars. If we happen to make a future star, that's all well and good. It's about making arts advocates, and more importantly, it's about making better human beings. All students, whether they go on to become a doctor, a lawyer, a trash man, are going to have skills that they developed in the performing arts, public speaking, self-confidence, uh, self-pride, communication skills that are valuable throughout all of life. Basically, our philosophy here at Stage is that we're never going to turn a student away because of financial need or finances being a barrier for them to participate in a class. Scholarships are the most important. Badria wasn't able to be here without the scholarship. Everyone here is so welcoming. You always feel at home. It is like my second home, actually. It's about your child. It's about the children. It's not just about their, their place of business. Stages Academy becomes part of the parents' dream team. The parents have helped these kids along to accomplish their dreams, and Stages is here to say, if you need another partner in the dream team, count us in. And so when the kids walk through the door, they can accomplish their dreams. They um, gave us a standing ovation, and I just felt really good inside my body. And I felt like I wanted to do it again and again. I just wanted to thank Stages for the opportunity for them to get to know us and uh, really make a difference in Sarah's life. You and me are free to be. You and me. Oh. The Stages programming at City Academy is essential for our program to be as richly diverse as we want it to be for our children. Essentially, we're working with a population that's really under-resourced in so many different ways, not only through uh, educational programs, but then through their own families. The families just have limited resources that they can spend on things that are perceived as not essential. And unfortunately, that means the arts for many of our families. The stages programming really dovetails well into our regular curriculum, and the children, as a result, really appreciate that opportunity. These uh, two ladies from Stages came to our Delta Gamma meetings and they started actually showing us some acting exercises and writing actually a play for us. The play was written towards each child's strength or weakness. So Stages took that and expanded on that and integrated all of them into the story that allowed each child to be themselves but yet speak to the audience about what it's like to be visually impaired. I was one of the people who really pushed for team stages. I was adamant that we did a city and county search for these very, very talented teens, and then to create with them these musical reviews, to then tour into our outreach programs so they in turn can mentor the children in the outreach programs, and they have. So I would have to say that all of the students that are in teen stages, they're my heroes. My mom's like, you're about to go to teen stages here, so I'm like, yes! So it's, it's great, it's really impacted me very well, so. The friends, the music, the experience you get, it's amazing. Every Saturday I spend the majority of my time at the Academy. Um, I have a great time. I come at 11.30 and I volunteer with Access the Arts. We act out stories and we, we do some songs and the, they're so sweet. And then um, after that there's a class for 10 to 18 year olds. So then right after that it's 2 o'clock and it's time for Team Stages rehearsal. And so I come on over and like meet with the gang and we, we sing. It's a lot of work but it's really great. So you lean this way, get it to you. Well, Access the Arts through Stages has been a real blessing in our life because our daughter, we feel, has been born to sing and dance and act, and there hasn't really been any other source in the community for her to get to do it outside our four walls. I'm very pleased with how Stages has been able to take the idea and run with it. Allie, um is one that just loves to sing and dance and always has really really enjoys music and uh, a couple of years ago she got involved in Troop Broadway and it is a traveling troupe they actually perform around St. Louis she just absolutely loves it just loves being on stage and loves showcasing what they have uh, learned on a daily basis when you teach children like these you see miracles happen 
all the time. And then you'll see a child who has maybe never said something independently before say it or somebody move in time to the music and they've never done that before or someone remember to cross to the other side of the stage when they've never remembered before <laughs> um, you know and it's something that maybe you've been working on for months or years and and then it finally happens and it's really astonishing the stages performing arts academy and outreach programs it's, they're really one of a kind there is nothing else quite like it for the study of musical theater performance. We have an extraordinary team of people. We have an extraordinary leader of the academy. We have extraordinary teachers. And we have been blessed with some extraordinary support from so many corporations, foundations, and individuals. But we will always need that support. I would say please support it because we are just people who want to get out there and we love musical theater and we just want to do it for the rest of our lives and if you support us we won't we won't let you down you know we'll really make it worth your while so.